Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome back to more Golden Sun the Lost Age in the Mars Lighthouse. Last time, we entered the lighthouse, and we climbed up to where we are right now. This time, well, first, I actually want to show this. I decided to go with War Adept, because although I lose Sonic Slash, which is really good, and Shine Plasma, which I'm kind of meh about, I mean, I shouldn't be. The level 3 Plasma, which I don't even bloody have yet, is actually one of the strongest spells in the game. But... Well, basically, the War Adept gives me better stats. It lets me keep um, Eruption, and Thundermine is single target. It, Thundermine is basically the equivalent of Diamondberg or, or Odyssey. It's single target, and it might not be. It's probably. I can expect it to give comparable damage to a single target as Sonic Slash would to a single target. And since I'm gonna be mostly, I would mostly otherwise be using Sonic Slash, it's, and since I get better attributes this way, it's probably worthwhile to be a War Adept. Having said that, we'll see how much longer that's even relevant. <laughs> we got the Teleport Lapis! This thing is big. The it bestows the power of Teleport. Uh, no, I don't actually want to give that to Piers, because he's important for healing. I'm afraid so, Garrett. I don't have that many cursed items for you to lug around anymore, so... Teleport. It says at will, but it's not really at will. You see this platform? Well, guess what? It's for teleporting. <laughs> but, you know what? We have every single field synergy in the game now. I'm not going to go straight out of here because I want to get that Mars Genie from earlier first. Uh, let me think. Now, I believe where I want to be is going to be in the room that had the invisible teleport pad. That seems probable. But yeah. After I get that Mars Genie, I'm going to be leaving the Mars Lighthouse and doing basically all post-game stuff. I mean, I call it post-game stuff. Most of it is not really post-game. I mean, you can make an argument for one of the things, but... Well, that'll be the, literally the last thing I do anyway. The ol Literally, the only thing I will do after that particular unnamed thing will be to fight the boss of the game. Also, speaking of healing from earlier, I should actually... Oh, I guess I have Cure. That's another single target in healing. Wish. Wait. Wait, no. I have Cure? Why the hell do I have Cure? Ah, uh, damn it. I screwed something up. No. Here. Take this. There we go. Much better. Anyway. Let's get... Oh, whoops. Let's get that Ginny. Hopefully this will go pretty close to it, actually. It's kind of weird for two Ginny to be in the same place. But I suppose it, this is the final dungeon, so... It's not too bad. Okay, if I land on that, I'm betting that the head thing is going to start moving. So... If there's anything I can... Well, I mean, that's not even useful. Uh... Okay, I see it. I see it. Sort of. I mean, if the head thing does start moving, then it'll set off the dragon and it'll blow up everything in its path. Possibly including us. So the question then becomes... Well, I, I would need to race it to here to get through the door then. Oh, there's a box there. I, I bet this is the Mimic. No, it's not. It's Valkyrie Mail. Uh, raises evasion and therefore critical hits and has high defense. But it doesn't increase my attack power. Yep. Uh, although, I do need to give up the... Cr well, I mean, it's just HP. That is a pretty no sell. That's plus two. That's plus more than two. This slows your attack power, however, whereas this does not. Although, I think this did... Yeah, this did give you 
quite a lot of resistance, though. What does this thing do? Attack and evasion! I wonder if this actually increases critical hit rates, because everything that says it increases evasion actually lists critical hits in the effect, but it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to see that, you know? I have been carrying this around for probably way too long. Whoops. I guess I'll sell that when I go to... When I go to, uh, forge more stuff. Hmm. You know, it just occurred to me. I, earlier in the game, I was going on about how forged equipment usually is cursed. I have not forged a... I have not forged a single rusty weapon that was cursed. What is up with that? I just don't even know. Anyhow, what's down there? There's literally nothing. Okay, this is... There's a hole there, so... That's probably what, where we'll end up if we fail to outrun the head. Yeah, I was right, that set that off. So, gonna need to use lots of pounds and beat it to the other side. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these are actually within range of the outside. Otherwise, I would've done it. I mean, there was the one that was, but that would've been literally useless because it was you know, a dead end. Do, 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 do. Pound! Well, we, we are making, we are gonna make it with plenty of time, it seems. Yeah, no way are we gonna get fireballed. It's a teleport pad! But there's also a door. What, what is it here? It is a big long chamber, uh, and another teleport pad. Okay, so that would have kind of sucked. This is probably another, yep. I bet you the teleport pad from before goes to here. So, the solution here is probably to just block this, and then we don't get blown up. I wonder if you can outrun this. You might be able to, but it's kind of, it's, it seems to me it would be pretty iffy. Although it, it does occur to me I could have just teleported in the first place and that might have saved a couple seconds. But, you know, whatever. It, it, that is so not important. Yeah, there's no way you could have done this. Without blocking that, you would have be, you'd be blown up no matter what. It takes too long to teleport in. Hmm. Okay, if I jump on that, I will definitely go off the side. So let's try to find an angle on which I can not that one. Uh, not that one. Uh, I can do that though. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Go over here, slide, but we're good. Over here, slide, but we're good. And like this. I don't know what... It, oh, the stairway is right there, so... Ooh, yes! This is... Pro okay, not counting cursed weapons, this is the best weapon in the game. It... Other... Just for reference... Only Earth Adepts can use this. It, in fact, this would be better if I was Mono Earth. Because it's Unleashed, it's Earth based, and. Well. Look, you'll see. You'll see. It is really just that good. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Is this better than the Fire Rod? No. It's better than yours, though. Okay, you know, I want to see what's down here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing! Well, I'm glad I confirmed that. Yep. We just vaulted a sun at that po uh, point. 
poor unsuspecting frog. And we did over 900 damage! The Soul Blade does not shit around. I mean, I'm not even sure if the curse weapons are stronger than it, actually. It might just flat out be the strongest weapon in the game. But it's definitely the strongest non-cursed weapon. Anyway... And I mean, come on, that is just awesome. There are summons that would do less damage than that. Not all of them, I mean, the really good summons would deal more, but... Actually, there's an argument to be made for giving this to, to Isaac, because he has such high luck. And I think luck affects unleash rates, although, don't quote me on that, I'm, I could be mistaken. Well, what I'll probably end up doing is if I get somehow get a better cursed weapon than that, I will make Felix my designated cursed, cursed weapon user, and I'll give the awesome soul sword to Isaac. Because some, for some reason, I just don't really like the thought of making Isaac uh, have cursed weapons. Don't ask me why, it's just, I just don't like it. I mean, ideally it would be Piers or Garrett. They're the most suitable for that sort of thing, but you know, that's not going to happen. Oh wait, you know, I want to save, because, well, you'll, you'll see. I was actually considering rearranging my Ginny for this, but I think that this is probably something that I can do without rearranging my party. However, <laughs> this is probably the last fight the, well, guess what? Those are dragons. They're attacking us. These are, this is, this is a boss fight. This is probably the last boss fight I'll do without rearranging my Ginny. Even as it is, I kind of really want summons, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm pretty sure these guys are fire-based, so anything water is would be good. I'm not having said that. Death Leap and Thundermine, and we're just gonna focus on trying to kill one of them really quickly. And before we worry about the other. Actually, one of these is bigger than the other. I bet the smaller one has less HP. And if not, then they're equal and it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you probably are gonna hit the hardest. Actually, if I hit this with Megado, it would definitely deal more damage than my Unleash. Or rather, it would definitely deal more damage than any synergy. However, Megado is not guaranteed. <laughs> it has a pretty good unleash rate, but it's- wait, this looks familiar. Also, it looks painful. Yeah, yeah, that was fairly painful. Just to demonstrate, uh, you're gonna use Wish. You're gonna keep using Plume Edge. Oh wait, you actually got Megado, so it's a poor demonstration. If I don't get Megado, I will deal less de si significantly less damage than I would with Death Plunge. With Megado, I deal twice as much. Actually, if I unleash every other attack, it's probably more damage efficient to just regular attack with Felix. Because Megado is just that good. That is sort of the, the thing, though, with what I was saying earlier. Even if there is a weapon that has stronger physical attack, I know for a fact that Megado is the single most powerful unleash in the game. Even if there's something that has higher attack, nothing will deal more damage than Megado except for a summon. Nothing. Uh, any, anyway though, which actually is probably a pretty good argument to give to Isaac and have a cursed weapon on Felix. Felix has better synergy for exploiting a very high attack power, whereas Isaac can take advantage... Isaac can just kill shit with Megado. 
and save his synergy for, you know, healing people. Okay, yeah, you did that. Uh, depending on which Ginny that took off, that could actually be really bad for me. <laughs> Incidentally, that's a big reason I'm going to be changing around my Ginny load for the last few bosses, because most of them have shit worse than that. Yeah, you- oh no, no, you're still a master. Still gonna just attack Megado, though. You are- no longer have the thing, so I guess Sonic Slash. Uh, it might actually be worthwhile to use... Hmm. Do I have, uh, I have Resist, that actually might be worth using. But I was thinking, if I have, um, what's it called, uh... Right, you're gonna use Plywall on yourself. If I had a boost attack booster, it would probably be worthwhile to use. Okay, yeah, that was 260 versus like 800. Actually, no, that's not really a good comparison though, because I got Ginny fested. So I dealt less damage there than I otherwise would have. Maybe not significantly less though. Still, I would have dealt under 300 damage with a regular attack, or over 800 with Megano, and almost 400 on the dot with uh, Death Plunge. So two death plunges is 800. One megado and one regular attack is about is over a thousand. Which one is better? Oh, they're healing. I guess we are in the Mars freaking lighthouse, so it does make a certain amount of sense for something fire line to recover PP. Although by that logic, Jenna should also be healing her synergy. Hmm. Attack and. Attack, wait. Ooh, you have impact! Use high impact. Use wish well, and use plumage! Because I think doing that once is probably worthwhile. Just for the boost to Felix and Isaac. Oh. Okay, actually, it was worthwhile just to have them use Break, to be honest. Okay, Felix was stunned. That's not really great. Uh, I'm gonna do this again, because I like them wasting turns debuffing me. Uh, you are gonna use Ply Well, though, on Felix. Maybe also something to cure his stun. Stunnedness. But, you know, one thing at a time. If only by necessity. Still stunned. So, I mean, unless you can cure it, which it doesn't look like you can. Thundermine! How about you? Oh yeah, you can. Gonna do that, and plumage. Come to think of it, if... It, high Impact should also increase the power of Thundermine. Okay, that's one Dragon down. And I've dealt some damage to the other one. Not a whole lot, but you know, there's only one left, so... By definition, the fight just got a lot easier. Oh, especially whenever that happens, because it's basically like hitting something with a summon. I mean, it's not actually like hitting something with a summon. It is not... Okay, yeah. I probably added 100 damage with high impact there. Uh, but I digress. Because summons do scale based on HP, the HP of their target. No one leash does that, including Megado. Even so, though, it is kind of it is probably stronger than a summon in many situations. Do that and that. I don't even necessarily need to use Wish here, actually, but, you know, it's better to play it safe. You know, Thunder Mine is probably cooler than Slash, the Wind Slash thing anyway, so I really don't mind the changeover. I would like to have Plasma, but you know, whatever. By the time I have Plasma, I have the third level of the Volcano one, too. So, so you know, it works out. 
Plume Edge. But no mine! And Hail Prism for that matter as well. Although, ha I mean, I'm saying this, but it's actually pretty theoretical. Realistically, I probably won't be a high enough level to get those. You don't get them until, like, around level 50, I want to say. Which... I mean... It's actually plausible that we get close to that, to be honest. Because of the freaking, uh... Because of the post-game. But... I won't... But that would be like two bosses. Literally just two bosses. And I'm sure as hell gonna try to do it without grinding up to that point first. But, the one boss in particular I'm thinking of may actually be unbeatable uh, without going up, up until at least the mid-40s. It is kind of stupid, that fight. Mostly because of Ginny Storm. Ginny Storm is just the worst. If that is not yet clear. But, I'm not talking about this fight at all, so I think it's safe to say I'm pretty much good. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. 5,000 experience from a boss in the final dungeon, less than two phoenixes. But enough to level up, so you know that's nice. And it was these assholes. Because you turned yourself into dragons and tried to kill me? Oh? Um... Hmm... Meant to be immune to the gold, right? I mean, you were literally encased in ice, so... Whether you die or not, I'll forgive you for feeling the chills. That I... Uh, what? I mean, no, uh, we definitely, uh, y yes. Okay. If this takes up his own inventory slot, I will sit after ha having that stupid slot for the Mithra bag this whole time. I will be seriously upset. You hold the star, open your heart and listen. If you wish to reach the heavens, give your star to me! Okay, it did not take up its own slot. I guess that's why we kept the bag? Actually, that would be kind of clever if it was. Still frustrating, but clever. They would have wanted me to keep the bag so that it, once we need the star, it's impossible for our inventory to be full. We will always have a slot to take the Mars star when we need it. I guess we'll feed feed it the star. Okay, yeah, that's melting. And wait, what? The ice turned into ma- well, Actually, no, we're above ground. It turned into lava. But this stuff is all still here. Right then. Well, I think I'm probably going to use Retreat. But I want to see... I just want to take a quick look-see to see if there is a good alternative to quickly getting to the bottom of the lighthouse. I suspect there is not. Oh, the walls are a di different color now. So, yeah, you know what? Retreat. Uh, I, I was considering stopping, but I think I'll go on a little bit longer here, because I know with reasonable confidence that I've almost got that genie. And after I get that genie, I am totally getting out of this, leaving the lighthouse. 
So, yeah. Yeah, Megado is so long that you can actually skip the animation. That is how OP it is. Just like a summon. Blaze! And now we can go over there and break it. From right here. Uh... No. You have it. Burst! Still not 100% sure how to light this. Hmm. But I can go through this door now. Which, according to my notes, is where that other Ginny is. Definitely gonna go... Yeah, that's a dead end. I mean, it seems plausible to me that this, for this to be where the Ginny is. Oh, yes. Saved my game. Although, I guess don't need not bother, since there's the door literally right there. Uh, hey, du dude, can I, uh, there we go. And this is fire, so I want to use water. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Megado! <laughs> Thundermine! Hail! Plumage! Man, it would be cool if I could actually one-shot out of this, but I don't think that's going to happen to a genie. Although, it does virtually guarantee that I'll finish it off in a single round. Yep. There you go. Two hits. That's all it took. Actually, if I had boosted my attack power on Felix a lot, I could have conceivably finished it off with a single Megado. Hmm. Well, anyway, we got Fuge! Drops their max PP. That's actually not very useful at all. Does this do anything useful? Not really. So, we're gonna give this to Garrett. Who will remain a hero for all time. Uh, just in curiosity, by some miracle, I think I actually have an even Ginny spread with my remaining Ginny. I have one wind, one earth, and one water left. The wind one will go on here. So the water and earth will probably be swapped here simply be I think? Maybe not actually. You're doing- no, yeah it will because you're doing the same thing as Shiva. And this is actually worse. In both regards. <laughs> So yeah, I'll probably want to give Ivan another, the last Earth Ginny to buff him up a bit. To level him up to a pure mage. Which means you'll get the last Water Ginny, but it's not like it even matters. Wait, I don't think so anyway. At any rate, I'm going to leave off here. Join me next time when we start doing side quests and post game stuff. Because you know, this is really urgent and all, but we got shopping to do, yo! <laughs> Until next time, this has been Golden Sun, and have a great day. Bye!